Hey everybody, Hollywood Pizza here, and we're playing a pretty spicy deck list today. We're playing a five color Atrexa, that's right. Atrexa Grand Unifier, pretty hot card still in standard and a lot of different formats for that uh, reason. Uh, usually a reanimation target, kind of a card you cheat in, but in this deck specifically, we're actually playing some control elements and getting to the Atrexa naturally. So let's go and go over the deck list here. Early in the game, we've got Bank Busters. Make Disappears as counter spells and ossifications for some removals. In the 3-drop slot, we have 4 Contagious Vorak, which is actually a pretty phenomenal card. It helps us get our land drops. And on top of that, once we have some Planeswalkers or some plus and plus and counters around creatures, it can actually proliferate as well if we don't grab a land. 2 Endless Detour, a card that I was really, really high on when we first saw Streets of New Capenna. Um, but I'm really happy to see it in this deck, and it was actually a really, really great card. Uh, really huge tempo play, and on top of that, you can actually choose a card that's in your graveyard and put it on top so you can get your Atraxas, your Herd Migrations, your Wandering Emperors, things like that back on top of your library to be able to use them later. We have a 1-up Celestis that helps us ramp a little bit and fix our mana. We have 3 Depopulates as board wipes for anything that's going to be aggressive. 3 Wandering Emperors, which are just an awesome card if you haven't already seen this card in Standard. It's a removal spell, it's a threat, uh, it's a Planeswalker with Flash, just a really, really powerful card and great in this deck. One of Memory Deluge to dig a little bit into the deck when we need to find some answers or to just give us some card advantage. We also have four Leyline Bindings as additional removal. Usually this card only costs two or one mana. One of Wandering Emperor to kind of help blink our cards or uh, exile our opponent's tokens, make our own Samurais, or even just act as like a board wipe. We can just blink the Atraxa and keep getting a lot of value as well from it. We also have the Herd Migrations that we mentioned earlier. Uh, this card's great at 2 mana, you can just go get any basic land put in your hand, gain 3 life, or even make some 3-3 beasts later in the game when you need to, to kind of start overwhelming the opponent. For special lands, we're just playing 1 Ottawara and 1 Boseju, and then we have a lot of different tri-lands and some basic lands as well. For the sideboard, we have 2 Disdainful Strokes, 2 Negates, 2 Thruns, Anissa, 4 Laydown Arms, 2 Return to Natures, Knockout Blows, so we have some counter spells. Uh, for Invokes or Shieldreds with the Disdainful Strokes Thruns, just really great against Mono White or anything that's going to be targeted removal. Uh, Nissa is just a decent value. Planeswalker can make some creatures, or it can also destroy an artifact or enchantment. Uh, Laydown Arms, I find myself sideboarding this in against really, really aggressive deck decks that are fast. Return to Nature helps against graveyards or even artifacts or enchantments. And Knockout Blow is just another great card against like these red decks that have kind of just been running around. Uh, I had a ton of fun playing this deck. I think it's a really powerful deck. This actually took down an RCQ. Uh, this was a first place deck list, so it's definitely you know been up there already in terms of a tournament deck. And I think even on the ladder, Attracts is just so powerful. And what you're already doing is really really powerful uh, to the point where you can kind of just like control your opponent out, and then a Wandering Emperor or Attracts will just finish the game off. So let's go and jump into some games and have some fun. Gonna be on the draw here with Attracts, uh, and it looks like we got to take a Mulligan. Uh, this hand is okay. It's a little bit slow. I think we have to keep it though. We can get rid of Let's get rid of Eternal Wander just because it's our more expensive card. We don't have any green mana either, but I don't want to go down uh, To five and luckily we top deck the green source, so Our opponent though looks like they're on mono black aggro. We're gonna be taking quite a bit of a beat down here from this evolved sleeper. And there's another sleeper. Alright, luckily we have this depopulate and a wandering emperor to potentially get us back into the game. So, we're going to take a lot of damage here. We got to watch out for these invokes. Uh, Liliana's really good. We can't, uh... Yep, can't attack into that right now. Um, hmm, it's a bit tough, honestly. We can get rid of depopulate. Tap mana all the way. We have no mountain yet. So let's do that. Maybe they just make a sack better than discarding. Yep. Do you have some extra lands to discard now, though? Gonna take some more damage here, unfortunately. Pump that up. Can pump up one of these to 3 3. So we take 5, get on to 10. Okay. 
Yep, gonna do that. And we're just gonna have to depopulate here. We're gonna discard the Sparrow's headquarters, binding the Liliana, play the garden. Yep, got a discard here. Alright, so we play this tapped. We're just binding now so we don't have to discard any cards. Get rid of this and pass it back. Okay. Let's just pass back. Keep passing. They may be looking for a land for an invoke. And we have Wandering Emperor, so things are looking okay right now. And do they just have a removal spell? Sure, we'll make a token. We'll lose the Wandering Emperor, unfortunately. We hit a land. It's not great, but... It's definitely something. I think we just smash. Let's hold that land, just in case. Here's the Invoke Despair we were waiting on. We'll counter that. Alright, so we hit Endless Detours. Nice, actually. Let's attack. Pass it back. Endless detour here. Probably put it on top. They can get back their Liliana, so we're in a bit of a rough spot here. That's pretty good. Let's attack. We'll pass it back. Hold this in case they make us discard. Here's the invoke. Sure. They get the Liliana back. Ossify the Liliana. We'll play the Vorak. We will decline up to here, down to here, attack for two, pass back. Might have wanted to uptick, but then we wouldn't have been able to make another token. Um, able to kind of outvalue our opponent there at the end of the day. Hmm. We definitely want more removal, and we also need some counter spells. That only targets a red. Thrun's not bad, though. I really like where our deck is at. Mm. We want Eternal Wander. We can get blown out by an Invoke, unfortunately. Let's cut this. We will also cut... Maybe we cut Ley Lines. I really like Negate, though. Negate's going to be pretty good. Or the Stroke. Or maybe we just want both. We want to bring down laydown arms. I kind of want the laydown arms. Gets rid of most of their cards. I think we just want two. What do we want to cut? Celestis on the draw. Let's try this out. I'm not sure if cutting the Celestis is correct, but like I said, we're on the draw. It's like that card's a lot slower, and as the game progresses, we don't want to be drawing it. Yeah, we definitely keep this. We have a Deluge, an early migration. Oh, there's a Duress, though, so probably going to get rid of that Deluge. Oh, wow, okay. Completely fine with that. And there's the Deluge now, though. And we kind of just have lands. We hit this Wandering Emperor, which is nice. 
And they have... Okay, yep, there's an underdog. And we have a depopulate. Planes cycle the Rafines. If they play more cards, we have a board wipe. Take this damage. Yep, gonna cycle here. Draw on a track says nice. We'll play this forest and pass. And there's a land drop from our opponent. I'm just gonna play this. If they have the edict, it's actually okay. Yep, gonna exile the underdog, gain some life. And they have Liliana. So we have to discard. I'm discarding the board wipe. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, we can counter that. They're going to uptick. We got to get rid of this island. Now we can get rid of the Atraxa, it seems okay. I I don't like it. Wow, we're sacking? Okay, that's fine. Pretty interesting there. Sure. Uptick, kill Liliana, tap land, one more land and we have a Traxa or the Deluge. Alright, down tick, make a token, attack three. We have Disdainful Stroke for an Invoke if they end up playing it, which is probably what they're going to do here. Yep. And that should potentially make our opponent kind of concede here, probably. Yep. All right, able to take that match down. You can definitely see how we were able to like outvalue our opponent now. Uh, they were missing a land drop or two, but um, even when they caught up to us, we had uh, the exact answers that we needed, and then we were going to slam that attract. So, so we'll go ahead and catch it for the next game. On the play with some more Atraxa. And yeah, this hand's pretty good. Yep, we pretty much have everything that we need here. Um, we can start off with the Rafine's Tower, either that or the Jetmere's. I guess the Jetmere's means we can cast the Herd Migration uh, if we need to go get a land. Right now, we don't really need to. Hmm. Yeah, we'll still do it, though. It makes sure that we, like, don't miss any land drops, and we can also just get, like, whatever we're missing here. I think we have all of our colors, though, right? Red, green, yep. Red, green off that. But we're gonna make sure that we don't miss any land drops by doing this. Let's see, we have double, triple white. We have blue. Yeah, let's just grab this. Guess we needed the blue mana there. To endless detour. So a little bit of a mistake, maybe. So then if we play the blue mana, we can detour. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's just play this. Okay, so they end up not doing anything anyways. Pass it back. We still have Detour up. Hmm. Wow. Or card in a graveyard. Man, that card's really good. Wow, we can actually, like... Get back a card from the graveyard. This card is actually really nuts. 
This card is way better than I even thought it was. Um, let's see here. So we have Depop. The land they know about. Tap Land City. Tap Land City. Are they just going to slam Shieldred again? We'll take the two. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Time to ossify. Uh, Bank Buster. Pass it back. We can redraw and then draw a bunch of cards off this attract. So if we hit a land drop. Okay, there's a Soren, that's fine. Okay, they're choosing to do that. Okay. We'll draw off the Bank Buster. We hit a Leyline Binding, which is fantastic, so let's just cast that. Get rid of the Soren. Play this. Grab the island. Play it. Yeah, if they have, like, a go for the throat, it can't kill the Bank Buster anyways. Obviously, an Infernal Grass would be a bit disappointing, but... Like, do they have the Infernal Grass? Maybe they do. Wow, they actually had the Infernal Grass. Alright. It is what it is. Like I said, it's a bit unfortunate if they had it. I mean, they just happen to have it. They still have a Traxa, though, to go over the top, hopefully. Invoke. Yeah. They can get back to Shieldred, that's fine. Draw. Yeah. Just gonna slam this. Creature, Sorcery, Planeswalker, Cycle Land. Do we already have an answer? Yeah. Just grab one of these. Pass it back. I'll gain some life. Do they have an answer for us? They attack with the Shieldred, we can exile it. And they're gonna attack. No blocks? Does that mean they have an answer for the Atraxa, probably, if they're doing that? Okay. Gain some more life. Alright. Well, we had a response to in the game. The game didn't stop, but it's okay. Wandering Emperor? Alright. We just had a ton of value. Like, we exile that, and then we start swinging for seven in the air. That feels pretty good. So we're up against Mono Black again. So we get rid of one of these. We can cut one of these. Cut these. Cut the Celestis. Bring in a couple of these. Negates, Disdainful Stroke. What else did we cut? Like one of these or something, I think it was. Hmm. I like Negate and Disdainful Stroke, honestly. I think we cut this. We can also bring in the Thruns. I think we didn't even bring in the Thruns last time, which is kind of hilarious, actually. 
Um, hmm. Like, Thrun is pretty good, but they still have Invoke. So I don't really, like, trust it against them. They have a lot of sacrifice effects, Liliana. Things like that, so I think I think it's okay. Like, I don't want to just tap out for Thrun and then lose the game, right? Like, we tap out for Thrun and then they invoke. Yeah, Sand's pretty good. Keep this. We have almost all of our colors. All right, there's a Duress, though. We have a lot of options for them to choose from. We got Answers. We have a Board Wipe. Counter Spell. Probably take down the Lay Down Arms, maybe. It's an early removal spell, or they just take the negate, knowing that they can resolve their invoke, but it also depends on if they have another duress back up here. Would be a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Alright, we hit an island. Let's start off with green mana. It also means that Laydown can exile something that's too cost if they play it. Alright, just a sleeper, that's fine. Alright, they're just gonna pump it up. That's okay. Um, let me play Tower. Laydown. Pass it back, and now we have Disdainful Stroke, which is nice. Uh, do they have Trespasser? Okay, Underdog is fine. It's definitely a magic card. Let's pass it back. We have Disdainful Stroke up for whatever they play here on 4, if they hit a land drop plus something. Here's Shieldred right on time. Oh, Gix. Okay, we can't get rid of that. Unless we Binding. Let's let them attack first. Yep, we'll Binding. Take three, go down to 17. Uh, tower is okay. I would rather hold on to it. It's kind of like a desperation land at this point. We're going to take the three, go down to 14. Yep. Okay, let's cycle. Try to draw something good here. Ooh, Wandering Emperor's great. And another Wandering Emperor, all right? Pretty awesome. Let's pass it back. Okay. I think we take it. It's a little bit awkward, but we take it. All right, they're not doing anything else. I didn't want to slam the Wandering Emperor there because if they invoke, it's really good. So I'd rather like wait. Like, yeah, we're taking three, but we're also going to gain some life here. If they want to make us sack the Wanderer, that's fine. We have a backup one. If we draw land, we'll have everything that we need. So let's exile this underdog, gain a couple life back. We end up just taking one there, which is okay. Do they have a kill spell of their own? It's fine. Like, we're, we're fine with all of this. It just means they're wasting more cards, getting more cards out of their hand. Etc. Etc. Um, we could play the tower. I think now we have to play this as a desperation land. Pass it back. If they tap out for underdog, we just exile it again. If they play a shielded and invoke. We counter spell. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, they can attack. Yep, we just have another wandering emperor here. We'll exile the underdog. Alright, we get to untap. We will... Uptick. Yep. Bank Buster. So we can draw Counterspell. Alright, we're looking really, really ahead now. Should be pulling here. Trespasser's pretty good. Can't get rid of that. Alright, they're gonna get rid of our Wandering Emperor. Yeah, that's fine. Do they have anything else here for us? Nothing yet. Let's redraw off the Bank Buster. 
Okay, herd migration's actually really good. We hit a Beseju, so we're missing a forest, which is kind of funny. Um... It's a little bit awkward, but I'm going to do this now. Let's make a token. Could play the Beseju. Let's just... Hmm, let's pass. I think that's okay. If they kill this, we don't really care. We still have a Wandering Emperor going on. Okay, so nothing yet. Let's draw. Let's get a redraw here off the Bank Buster. We draw Herd Migration on top. Alright, so we do hit the final land that we need. Up tick here. We'll attack for three. So what we're really hoping to do is we'll counter what they play, get a redraw, and then start making five three threes a turn. So then we can kind of just like kill them very quickly. All right. Yeah, we, we had just so much value. Our opponent couldn't really do anything. So we'll go ahead and see it for the next one. This video is brought to you by MagicJank.com, the spiciest cards for your sauciest decks. Buy and sell Magic the Gathering products and gear today on MagicJank.com. Looking for the latest comic book to add to your collection? How about the last card for that Magic the Gathering Commander deck? Well, the comic book stores got you covered. Shop online at comicbookstore.tcgplayerpro.com or come in person at 30 North Main Street, Glassboro, New Jersey. Pizza people, are you enjoying the content? Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Hit that bell icon as well. That way, anytime any of our new content comes out, you're able to see it right away. Hey, leave a comment down below as well. Tell us what you're going to play in the next event, or tell us what you're enjoying about the video. Don't forget, check out the description too. We've got tons of great content down below. And on top of that, we're going to have our tournament scheduled too. So get in on it. Hope to see you. On the draw here, playing some five color Atraxa. Let's see what we got. That's a pretty good hand. Uh, we got some tap lands, but I think we keep it. We got the double white for the depop. We have all the basics for this Leyline Binding, so... Um, wow, looks like we're up against Red Deck, though. So it might be a bit of a tough matchup. Let's start off with this Rafine's Tower. Uh, we can play Zia Torres and then Leyline Binding something. Okay, Phoenix Chick, yep. And a Kumano's, wow. Okay, let's pass it back. So these are going to flip over, this puts a counter on something, land drop, and another phoenix chick, okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> so many chicks. Let's exile one of these, we go down to 11. So we really need to survive here. That's like the only way, like we got a top deck, an untapped land. <laughs> I mean, we can kill everything they have, but we need to hit the untapped land. All right, we go down to four. Do they have double burn spells? Ooh, no land. Fuck. Yeah, fortunately we get run over here a little bit by the red deck. Um, you can definitely tell it's a little bit more of weakness for us here. So let's bring out all these lay down arms. Holy smokes, the exiled coming in hot with a raid. Let's go. 
Thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate the love from everybody, and I appreciate everybody who's been uh, sticking around after the raid. Um, we're just going to cyborg here. If you're coming in from the raid, um, can we get a shout-out as well for Exiled? If you're coming in from the raid, um, click on my link. Whoops. Sorry. Shout-out Hollywood Pizza. Here we go. Click on that link. It'll redirect you to my page. That way you all count as new viewers. We're making a push for partners, so... Uh, I'd be greatly appreciated if you did that. Um, no, this is actually my new schedule. We're going to be on at 4 a.m. Uh, every day, so or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So um, Definitely expect to be a regular here in the morning crew. Uh, do we want negate? <laughs> I don't think that we want negate. Return to nature is like okay. I feel kind of bad because we're just so slow, right? This, this doesn't really do anything... This doesn't really do anything. Celestis is a bit too slow. This is a good blocker. Uh, Bankbuster is just not really the card that we want, I don't think. Would we rather just play Negate? Or maybe we keep Celestis in? Um, this is tough. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Let's let's try this out. But yeah, thanks so much for the raid. Really appreciate everybody hanging out here. Um, if you haven't already, definitely go send some love over to the Exiled. Uh, we're recording right now for YouTube as well. Anybody new coming in, we host three tournaments a month. All are free to play with cash prizes. Yeah, we keep the sand. Here's a link for that. You can also find a link in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube. And here's all my links. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. Appreciate everybody who sticks around after the raid. Thank you, thank you for that. All right, so we get a land down. Yep, Phoenix Chick. Gonna take the one. And we have a lot of removal. We can play this let's lay down the phoenix chick and we have triple removal spell so you can definitely see how like post board uh we have a lot better shot against this deck okay there's a swift spear we'll take it that's fine we have a make disappear which is pretty cool hmm Let's pass it back. I'm going to keep this Make Disappear up. We can take another one or two from the Swiss Spear if it comes down to that. Yeah, let's counter that. We'll take one here, go down to 17. Okay, we pretty much have all of our mana now. Um, yeah, let's lay this down. Yep. And let's pass back. We have Leyline Binding to kill something at instant speed. We need to find answers. Obviously, we can get to Atraxa later uh, if it comes down to that. Our opponent with nothing, though. We're pretty happy with nothing. Pass it back. Looks like we're going to get maybe Play With Fire here to for them to scry. So Kenzen. Okay. That's fine. They get some 1-1s. One Yo, Silent Labber. Welcome in. Hope you're doing good. Hope everybody's having a wonderful morning. Raiju. Yep. That's why we have Leyline Binding. Get rid of that. We'll take the two. Okay, Knockout Blow is phenomenal here. We'll pass it back. We can just use Knockout Blow. Let's see what they got for us here. Do they have a Shivan Devastator is the question. Yep, we'll take the two. Go down to 13. We want to get max value from this to populate. Uh, land is an ideal. Got two cards. We can pass it back. We can gain some life if we really need to from this knockout blow. I might be getting a little bit too greedy here, but I think we're okay still. Expecting some burn spells. Yep, go down to 10. They have two cards left. Exile four other cards, so they need two more cards in order for that to be good. We'll take it. And do they have a creature here? 
So unfortunately, we couldn't depopulate and knock out blow because we need another white mana. So if we were to depopulate and then they get squee, we're definitely in some trouble. Ooh, Jaya Ballard. All right. Making a token. That's really good, though. We'll depopulate. Let's see. F3. We'll gain some life. Want to get a planes. We'll play it. And we'll pass it back. Might have wanted to ossify here, but... I think we can only really do so much in a turn. So, I mean, if they... Alright, they're going to exile to draw. So they get a Keldon. That's fine. Hmm. And a Swift Spear. I'm killing the Swift Spear. We'll break even with the, the Felden. Ooh. Alright, let's ossification. Targeting this. It's fine. Get rid of Jaya Ballard. Alright, let's pass it back. Definitely scary here. We're at 11. Alright, Phoenix Chick. Let them attack. Cycle. Gotta hit an Atraxa here. Okay, Ottawara's fine. It can bounce something. It's, you know, it's still something. Knock up blows, great. Let's pass it back. Holy smokes. The four. Coming in with a massive, massive, massive raid. Holy smokes. Thank you so much, the four. Really, really appreciate that, man. Thank you for that. Alright, let's bounce this. Thank you, thank you for that. Can we get a shout out for the four, please? Here, we got you, man. Thank you so much for that raid. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, Hollywood Pizza here. We host three tournaments a month. All are free to play. Uh, there's a link for that. Here's my YouTube. Anybody who was already hanging out, uh, go send some love over to DeFour. Thank you so much for that raid, man. Really, really appreciate the love. Hope everybody's doing good. Getting a lot of that morning love here. Uh, thanks to our new schedule. Sparas. Can we hit something good here? Late on arms, sure. Let's see. Well, they're going to get back Squee, but... It's okay. We got to do something here. We're at 10. Things are not looking as fantastic, but it's all good. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, like I said, I host three tournaments a month. Uh, we're making a push for partners, so... Uh, if you could, here's my link. Click on that. You'll be entered back in as a new viewer. There's the Atraxa. Alright. Alright. We finally drew it. Off the top. Let's see how many cards we can draw. A lot. Sorcery, Planeswalker. We'll take that. We'll take this. I think we'll grab another Atraxa. And a bank buster, sure. Draw six. We can play the land. Yeah, that's fine. Because that way we can herd migration and leyline binding next turn. Maybe we wanted to grab an untapped land, so it might have been a little bit of a mistake there. Good karma, Traxa, right? Thank you, thank you. Oh no, we're at four. Oh, it's scary, chat. What's up, Duo Cat? Good to see you. Oh, no way, chat. Oh. <laughs> they grab the Atraxa with the bloody betrayal. Oh, man. Uh, they use the Atraxa against us. What a what a way to finish there. Um, I know I had a ton of fun playing this deck. I definitely recommend this deck for any tournament uh, for ladder play. It actually took down an RCQ. Uh, we're going to have a link down below uh, for the deck list as well as all my content all the tournaments that we host every month so definitely check that out i appreciate you watching stay cheesy everybody